What's up, guys? So today we're going to be testing out this new staff. So uh, in the last update, Briro Fida came out, and he's basically the mossy key boss, mossy giant boss. And this is the only unique item that he drops. It's similar to Trident, where it automatically casts. It is two-handed, even though you do hold it in one hand. It is so strong. It is so powerful. You have to hold it in two, two hands when you're actually casting. Uh, anyways... The max hit is 50 before any damage, you know, multipliers such as the augury spell and stuff like that. Um, so it can do some damage, and it can do it, you know, relatively quick. At least in terms of, like, hybriding. This is definitely going to be one of those better hybriding weapons, but, uh, you know, hi w when is hybriding useful in the server? Not not too often, at least not, with, at least not now, right? That should give you a hint for the future. So anyways, we're going to be testing this on Tekton first. I want to try a new strategy. The thing with Tekton is you have to stay away from him. You basically play Key Boy the entire fight. You Ice Barrage him, and then any time he tries to come near you, you, you know, you run away and then reset the, the, the whole process. So is it possible to do it with... Entangle. That's what we're going to be testing. We're going to be testing Entangle and then this spell for the damage. Is it doable? Is it worth doing? That's the question. And in case you're wondering, this is no spoiler alert, I did not get this legitly on my account. I'm only doing this for testing. I, I am quote-unquote cheating by borrowing this weapon, but I just wanted to do a video on it and to show it off. So it does have a damage uh, multiplier on Tekton. Multi any, any magic attack does double damage on Tekton, including the first one, Wind Strike. So... Um, we should be hitting hundreds pretty consistently. I guess that's the hope. Well, let's give it a go. So, let's see what we can do. I'm going to zoom out. 136 right off the bat. That's a pretty good start. That's a good hit right there. That's a good hit. So, what, I think you got like five attacks. Okay, so then we wait for him to reset. And tangle when stops moving. Oh, don't get, don't get too close. Okay, so I wonder if entangle has a you have to be closer for entangle, or if I just messed up there. But it definitely seems doable. Like I'm, I've done a pretty good chunk of damage in a pretty fast amount of time. Unfortunately, Tekton isn't one of those bosses that has a timer, so I don't know, you know, the full extent of our kill. You can always pause and count, but this definitely seems doable. Go right here. Entangle. I don't think that was. A, I think it was a splash. Oh no, that worked. Oh shit, my bad. I just lost. A, I lost the free hit like of, a, of the good weapon. I'm trying out uh, different gear. Obviously, Void is probably not as good as what some people could come up with, but you know, I, I don't do the best I can. And so then we'll test this in a couple other areas too. Um, just, just I just want to see how it works, like in just general PBM. Let's like let's go use it and kill some abyssal demons, and we'll compare that to a rapier. Really, just sort of getting a general fear for the staff. It definitely seems like like it's comparable. Like I don't think like I don't know how how good it will be or end up being. I really hope we can entangle you. Uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> no, no, stay away. All right, all right, right now. This is gonna be stuff. Stuff to kill. I'm not that great at tech time anyway, so I'm sure you guys know that. We only got one hit right there. So I guess that's kind of unfortunate. I mean, if you're bad at tech time, ice barrage is, is easier to do. It requires a little bit less effort because the spell itself is what's freezing it, but. I don't think that this is too bad. This seems pretty doable. And you do hit pretty consistent 100s. This is the total gear I have right here. And you're really not supposed to let Tekton touch you at all. But, you know. Alright, so I guess I, I don't... I'm, I'm just going to pause. And if anything... Uh, ha, the, <laughs> All right, so this one is almost dead, and yeah, stop the clock right there. So that took four minutes and forty-five seconds in this gear with this setup. Uh, I'm gonna try it again, and with ice barrage, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, it's about to die. Hopefully, maybe not. Nope, crap. 
crap. We missed the rotation. Uh, so the thing I noticed, oh no, I guess I was early, but the thing I noticed with Ice Barrage compared to the staff, uh, with the Ice Barrage you get six hits in, and then with the other staff you get five in, but one of those is your entangle, which is only going to do four to ten damage or so. So you do get more hits in, but I can already tell you the Briar Ophida staff is far better. It did right there. No, right there, so I add like two seconds. It, it doesn't matter. So the Barrow Fatter Staff did it in 445 using Ice Barrage. We haven't even killed it yet. Okay, so I stopped the clock at 618, but probably add another 15 seconds there. Um, so yeah, so the time with the Staff, 445, and then the time with the Ice Barrage Toxic uh, Staff of the Dead. I'm sure if you have better gear, that would change the numbers, but um, again, that wouldn't really matter because you'd have the better gear for the staff as well. So testing this gear, it definitely seems like the staff is better at Tecton. Um, almost by almost by two minutes, which is pretty impressive. You, and you can definitely tell the difference. With this, a lot of, with Ice Barrage, a lot of the times I would hit like, like my, my max was like 80 or 90. But with that other staff, I, I think the max I saw was 138. You can definitely tell the damage difference. So let's test it against Melee. Let's see if it has potential to be... Like your your main style because it doesn't require any runes, so it's got a very cheap upkeep cost. Could it be your main style moving forward? Okay, so I'm gonna choose Abyssal Demons because they're a pretty you know standard monster, and they also don't have a need to find weakness. They have the same magic defense as they do stab defense. That's what we're gonna test against. So I'm gonna do a few kills with magic. I'm gonna see how long it takes to kill five, and then I'm gonna do the same with melee, and we'll compare notes. Okay, so we just killed five Abyssal Demons, so and that took one minute and 40 seconds. So let's see if we can't beat that in a similar setup, but more more focused towards melee. All right, so we just finished the last one, and the time was 123. So it was, it was slightly faster than the staff. But that's pretty interesting that the staff was only a little bit behind. It could definitely be one of those items where once you get it and you don't have anything, oh, that, that's funny. But uh, once you get it and don't have anything else, maybe uh, maybe that's the way to go. Um, I'm going to test it in one more place. Okay, so the last test we're going to do is we're going to kill Glod. Now, the thing with Glod is he's similar to Tecton, where damage is multiplied by two. So everything I would hit would get doubled against him. And he's just generally weak to magic in general. Um, the only thing that really separates him from Tecton other than that is the fact that Tecton is harder to kill and is, is going to kill you back. This boss is very simple. Just put on, a, uh, put on prayers and AFK. Uh, so we're going to just be able to do consistent damage. And we're actually going to test it against what is probably considered the best magic weapon. Lorin's Scepter. Sorry, that was probably the loudest thing you've ever heard in your life. Um, so anyways, the stats right here, it has plus 35 magic bonus. And then it also has, I believe, a built-in damage bonus. And then it can cast Infinite Blood Barrage. So um, it has that ability, and that's the spell we're going to use. So it does have that similar aspect where you don't really have to use runes with it. And so then the staff by itself, you can see the magic bonuses is already just noticeably different. And you could also combine that with the fact that you get a shield when you're using the scepter. And even if you don't have a good shield such as the arcane, um, either way, any bonus is good bonus. So let's give it a go. Let's test it. That was fast. That was really, really fast. That was faster than expected. That took 56 seconds. I don't know if you guys have done much Glod. I, I have myself. And trust me, this thing is a tank. That, wow, that was fast. So let's go switch on Ancients, and we'll try out the Scepter. That's tough, 56 seconds. All right, so we just finished the kill. And yeah, that took one minute and 53 seconds. So that took almost twice as long. I think it's safe to say the new staff is really good. I think it's definitely the best magic weapon in game. Now, I, I think the Ichthorin, Ichthorin, I, I, dude, I, 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 have no, I have no clue how to pronounce that. Ichthorin, that's such a weird sound. Ichthorin, anyways, Ichthorin Scepter. It's, it's really useful in other places. The fact that you do have infinite blood barrage, it's perfect for something like bandits or something like that. So I don't think that the two weapons are ever really gonna matter. Uh, against each other. I think um, they're both equally rare as well, but I think it's safe to say the staff is is good. I think it's worth getting. Uh, this isn't really a worth it video, but I would say 